Hi everyone, it's Thursday, July 14th. I'm Jim Hummel with your KATC News Brief. More legal trouble tonight for Louisiana universities, including UL, in a controversy that made national headlines. Three more women have filed suit claiming they were sexually assaulted by the same man between 2015 and 2021, and they allege university administrators did nothing to stop it. According to the advocate, the federal lawsuit was filed against the UL and LSU systems and the Louisiana Board of Regents. The allegations surround Victor Silva. He's a 2020 UL graduate. According to the lawsuit, Silva was accused of sexual assault at LSU, UL, and Louisiana Tech, but none of the universities warned one another and allowed him to transfer between schools. The Lafayette Police Department is also named in the lawsuit accused of violating Act 172. That law was designed to prevent sexual abuse on college campuses by mandating communication in such cases between universities and law enforcement. The Lafayette Science Museum is now the University of Louisiana at Lafayette Science Museum. UL will now operate the museum after finalizing a partnership with LCG that was announced last year. The university already had a presence at the museum operating the geology part since 2013. This new agreement will include expanded exhibitions, enhanced programs for all ages, a cafe and gift shop, as well as a public event rental option. Construction of the new Lafayette High School is expected to start soon. The board is currently wrapping up the design phase. Students will be able to attend school once construction begins. District 6 board member Justin Santani tells us the construction should last 24 to 30 months. It's going to be uh, an extensive construction phase. It's going to be uh, a challenging construction phase with the size of the campus and keeping the school open while we build. But we think we have a good plan and uh, just looking forward to getting started. Let's get a check of the forecast now with meteorologist Bradley Benoit. Hey, Bradley. Hey, Jim. Well, leftover light shower activity across Acadiana starting to come to an end this evening. Mild and muggy for the rest of the night, mid 70s. So that's where we'll start our Friday. And then we'll start the transition back to more of a typical summertime scenario, rounding out the week tomorrow and heading into the weekend. Lower 90s tomorrow afternoon. Few pop up showers and storms developing with the heating of the day. So rain chances at around 40%, but not everyone necessarily getting wet. And uh, that's pretty much how it's going to go through the course of the weekend. Very typical July scenario. Uh, maybe a slight uptick in the rain chances come Monday as an upper level wind pulse tries to swing on through. But overall, hot and humid conditions, uh, low to eventually mid 90s out there for our afternoon highs. Mild and muggy overnights with temperatures settling into the middle and upper 70s. What well, that's going to do it for this news and weather update for now for future updates. Keep it tuned to TV3.